Hello. Welcome to this brief introduction to Edpuzzle. For those of you who are new to it, it will be an introduction. Or perhaps a recap for those of you who attended the workshop in autumn 2017. So what is Edpuzzle? Edpuzzle is a free teaching tool that can be easily accessed on your browser. You set up an Edpuzzle account with a Google email address and a password. Edpuzzle uses existing video clips with questions already in place, or you, the teacher, can edit it to add your own questions or instructional comments. Edpuzzle can be used for guided listening for homework by adding notes or instructions to guide the listener through the video. It can also be used as a means of assessment by adding multiple choice or open-ended questions. The PDST music team has a bank of ready-made Edpuzzles for you to access immediately. You log into Skullnet, click on Go to Post Primary and put PDST music Edpuzzles in the search bar. Here you will access a padlet of resources, including 20 ready-made puzzles suitable for a variety of class groups. The padlet has resources for both senior and junior cycle music in a clear and easy to access format. If you scroll down along the bank of ed puzzles, you will find a large range of musical genres. I'm going to choose an Ed Puzzle featuring Hosier performing the parting glass on the Late Late Show. This video is a YouTube clip to which both instructional notes and multiple choice questions have been added at various points as the video plays. To show you how this works, I will complete this two minute exercise on the Ed Puzzle tab. So here we are in the Edpuzzle account. I'm going to play this video. You can see that you have the notes on the right hand side of your video. So it starts, it opens with a note giving me information about the parting glass. So I press continue. Now you'll notice on the play bar that the video Have all the money that I had I spend it in good company and So on the play bar we've come to the first question and it's a multiple choice question where we have to identify one feature of traditional Irish music. So I'm going to click on the leading note is missing. If the student wanted to re-watch this, they would simply re-watch it and then they would again have an attempt at a question. So I'm going to click on the question and submit it. And straight away it tells me that I've got 100 out of 100. So I've got this one correct, so I'm going to continue and of all the harm that I done, alas, it was to none but me. So here's our next question. So it is, is this phrase similar to the first one or identical to the first one or completely different? So I'm going to go identical to the first one. Here you can see that I didn't get my answer right, so I can either re-watch it or I can continue. I'm going to choose to continue. For all I've done, for want of wit, to memory now I can't recall. So here's my next question. And again, it's a multiple choice question. This phrase has a range of, I'm going to go for a ninth because I'm a third year student who's able to count 
the distance between the highest note and the lowest note and I understand the language uh, around range and I submit this and again it tells me immediately that I've got it co uh, correct so I can continue. So, to me. so I'm going to pause it there to just show you a little bit more about this screen. So as you continue along the play bar Edpuzzle tells you which questions you have got correct with the green and which questions you have got incorrect with the red. You can see where the questions are placed along the timeline and also you can see up here what kind of questions are coming up. So I'm just going to fast forward to the end and play. And you can see here that we've got an instructional question at the end. You may wish to check the stave notes in one of the previous questions to help you so the student can go back on what they've done. And I'm going to click on Law and I'm going to click on Submit and Continue. Now at this stage in the video, the student would have the opportunity to turn in their exercise. So there you saw an example of how to complete an exercise. The exercise that we did there was simply me trying out one on my content that I had saved. The students can complete the Ed Puzzle once you have assigned it to them. They can uh, complete it on their phone or their laptop or their tablet by creating their own account and simply logging into the app on their phone. You, the teacher, can create a class group and invite specific students. You can assign specific Edpuzzle exercises to specific classes in order to target specific learning. So you assign exercises to specific groups. You can edit the video to target specific areas of learning. The videos can be customised by the teacher by trimming or by adding questions or by adding instructional comments or notes or voiceovers. You can even set a date for completion of the exercise. Here is what the app access looks like for the student. And here they are prompted to log in if they have already set up an account and joined a class or they can sign up to create an account with their username or a password as they are prompted here on the screen. Once the student has been assigned the exercise and complete it, the teacher can review the class pro progress. You can see how many and what students have completed the exercise, whether they have fully or partially completed, and also when the student completed the exercise. Furthermore, you can review individual student progress and analyse how long they spent doing the exercise. You can see their overall result and even how many times they watched particular segments of the assigned video. There is also a review of class progress where you can see what percentage of questions were answered correctly and the percentage of incorrect answers, as well as segments that students had most difficulty with. In creating your content, you can choose from the bank of existing exercises on Edpuzzle, or you can select videos from YouTube to edit or create your own Edpuzzle exercise. All of these are saved in your Edpuzzle account. So to summarise, this is a wonderful, free, useful tool which encourages the student to interact as they listen and watch the music being performed. Students can access on a wide variety of devices and listen to quality excerpts which have been chosen by their teacher. They enjoy it as a fun piece of homework and the benefit for teachers is it's easy to access the pre-existing bank of exercises and the self-correcting multiple choice assessments. 
I hope this brief look at Edpuzzle has encouraged you to have a look yourself and try it with your students. Thank you.